So what's up everyone, it's your boy Mushaf and welcome to this video. So as we know the topic for discussion is what is energy? But before answering this question, I want to ask you all a question. Can you tell me what is ice cream? Well, a lot of people will be answering it as ice cream is made of cream, it is sweet, it's cold and it's awfully delicious. The reason you can answer this question is because you've tasted it, you've felt it. That's nothing new. And answering this question like this will be way much better than just saying ice cream is meant for eating. No bro, I'm not asking you what is it meant for, I'm asking you what is ice cream. Okay, but uh, with this we can come to a question what is energy. So if I ask a person what is energy, they'll be like, oh, energy is the ability to do work. No, I'm not telling about its ability. I'm asking you what is it so you'll be like energy is always conserved no I'm not talking about its law I want to know what energy is well so basically we know what are laws of energy and what energy can do for example we know that the a potential energy can be converted into kinetic energy an example for this will be a stone falling from sky to the ground and there are also different examples such as the conversion of mechanical energy into uh, electrical energy and these are all just properties but we don't really know how energy looks like or it, how it feels like so let's dive a little deeper Okay, so now let's take Einstein Baba into picture and his famous equation that is E equals mc square where E is the energy, m is the mass and c is the speed of light. So he somehow figured out a way to show how much amount of energy is stored in some amount of mass at rest. So with this formula it is simply clear that anything that has mass will have energy. Okay. But that doesn't solve our problem to understanding what is energy. So now let's try and dig a little deeper. Now we'll enter a little bit of quantum mechanics. So we'll start by using a photon. So what's a photon? It's, with its classical definition, it is nothing but small packets of energy. Well, does it bring closer to our question, what is energy? It certainly does and it's not that simple also. And a photon is nothing but a small fragment of electromagnetic wave. Wow, electromagnetic wave. But we'll try to understand what's a wave first. So what's a wave? Wave can be understood by disturbance in water when we throw a stone and the ripples are emerging outwards. So more is the disturbance, more are the ripples and more are the waves. Okay. So can photon be understood as disturbance? Well, it certainly can be. How? We can use the formula E equals H mu which was again proposed by Einstein where E is the energy, H is the Planck's constant and mu is the frequency of the electromagnetic wave. So higher is the frequency, higher is the energy. Well this frequency by a disturbance in the wave. So higher is the disturbance, that is higher the frequency and higher is the energy. So we can just understand that it's clear that energy is nothing but disturbance. But what happens when matter comes into picture? Can matter have waves? Yes, certainly they do have waves. Those are called as matter waves. So De Broglie stated that a moving body behaves in such ways that it shows some kind of wave nature. Well, this kind of wave can be described by lambda equals h upon p, where p is nothing but the momentum associated with the body. So now that we know what matter waves are, it's time to understand the energy levels of electron in an atom, which will again help, uh, help us to understand what is energy. So Neil Bohr stated about the electron waves in an atom. The ground state, that is the first orbital of the electron, will have one wavelength, and the second orbital will have two wavelengths for the electron. So as we go higher in energy levels, the number of uh, wavelengths for the electron keeps on increasing. Okay. So now as we said that a photon is a packet of energy and as we concluded that energy is nothing but disturbance. And we also know that when electron is provided with some kind of energy, it jumps from its lower energy state to higher energy level state. So how do we provide this energy? 
it's simple by a photon so when a photon falls on electron it gets excited and jumps from its lower energy state to higher energy level state so this is called excitation a photon has energy and energy is nothing but disturbance so we are providing this disturbance to an electron which uh, actually increases the disturbance in the electron itself so looking at the example of electron we saw that how matter stores energy by vibrating and vibrations are nothing but disturbances so i hope you understood the concept of energy in matter as well as in photon and hope you guys enjoyed this and if you have any doubts and let me know what you guys think down in the comments and it's your boy mushraf here and peace out